Listening to those reports with us at the London Weather Centre is Dick File. Dick, let's leave the recriminations over the forecasting last night. What's happening with the weather tonight? Well, there is some heavy thundery rain around, which is going to move up into Essex and Suffolk, but there's no likelihood of any further strong winds in the next couple of days, that is in the southeast of England. I must just say one thing, though. We did forecast, did, did issue a warning early this morning of winds in excess of 70 miles an hour, not 20, as you said earlier on, 70 miles an hour and structural damage. And that was issued about two and a half hours before the strongest winds in London. So not quite right on that one, but no further gales expected in the southeast. There will be some strong winds in Cornwall, Wales and Western Scotland Saturday night and Sunday. Well, Dick, you say you gave two hours warning. Uh, I mean, are we saying that it was such a freak last night that you couldn't have seen it coming earlier? No, I mean, we did issue shipping warnings, including gales, but we didn't get the severity of the storm. The s really severe bit from the Isle of Wight through London and up into Essex uh, was a fairly narrow band, and we didn't see the severity of that until just after midnight. And by then, of course, all our warnings were t tending to fall on deaf ears, but we did, did issue them. Dick, I know you're having post-mortems down there. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Yeah. The wind speeds recorded during the night were the highest ever in the south of Britain, but there have been worse storms. On the 2nd of January 1976, at least 20 people died when winds gusting up to 105 miles an hour hit Britain from Manchester to the south coast. A hundred million pounds worth of damage was caused. In October 1881, widespread hurricane force winds left 108 ships listed missing off the British coast. And 22 years earlier, 400 people died on one ship that went down off Anglesey. But the great storm that struck in November 1703 was the worst of them all. As many as 8,000 people died in Britain and off its coast, 800 houses were blown down, and hundreds of thousands of trees were uprooted.